welcome to another Bean Outdoor product today. This time we're going to take a look at the 2016 Bowtech Katana Crossbow. Bowtech and Excalibur merged together over the last year or so and this bow is a result of that merging. This bow has a lot of the striker features that we've known and loved for years and then have added some pieces to this as well. This comes as a package. It comes with the bow that you see, comes with the scope, comes with the quiver with four arrows. It also comes with a rope cocker and also the C2 cranking device. This bow shoots 385 feet per second and the draw weight is 155 pounds. The axle to axle dimension is 19 and 3 16 When it's cocked, that is reduced 3 inches to 16 and 3 16 if I'm not mistaken. Um, this bow is a blend of features from Excalibur and Bowtech together. So we have the, the Bowtech uh, front end that we've seen before from, Bo from Bowtech, and then we have an Excalibur style frame. It features, flip it over, a ambidextrous cheek plate that can be switched to either side. This does feature the Excalibur Tech Zone scope. This is a higher end scope than what we've seen in the past on Bowtech offerings. In the past, the Bowtech scope was one of the pieces that was always subpar. This is a $200 scope. It is illuminated, it illuminates red and green. It has a dial in the back for uh, feet per second. It also uh, has some eye relief, uh, strain relief too, to help adjust for your individual eye power. Something new for this year, Bowtech on these bows have went to a Black Eagle AccuStrike arrow. They call it a Striker AccuStrike. There's a Black Eagle uh, arrow. It is a Moondock that we've seen before from Bowtech. These are 100 grain field points. You can shoot heavier field points if you wish, but these are um, 100 grain that comes with it from the factory. To take the quiver off, you just unscrew this little a set screw and it slips right out. I really like how that quiver comes on and off. Now something to add about this bow is because it has some of the Excalibur features, the, the cocking system and the way the system works is a little bit different. If you look at the back, there's a little button. It, all the way up is fire, all the way down is safety. In the past in Botex, we would put it in the fire position, cock it, and it would automatically go to the safe position. In this bow, that does not happen. So when you cock this bow, you have to put it down in the safety position yourself. Now some of you may be asking, well, what about anti-dry fire? That's where this little notch here comes from. That is the Guardian anti-dry fire. And you can see it go up and down, okay? The way we're doing that is pushing this lever in the back. I'll demonstrate that in just a minute when we decock the bow. When you slide an arrow back, it pushes that Guardian tab up and that lets the bow know that there is an arrow loaded. If you do not load an arrow and you leave this in the fire position, pull the trigger, what happens is the string is released and it clicks that Guardian anti-dry fire lever and the string does not go forward and dry fire your bow. Something else to note about this bow is that it can be cocked with a rope cocker and also a hand cranking device. It comes with, as part of the package, a C2 cranking device, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use that. But also, that's kind of cool, is that with the rope cocker, you can decock this without shooting an arrow, okay? So we're gonna demonstrate how all of that works. This is the C2 cranking device. This um, piece of equipment slips right over the buttstock of the bow. In the back, and you'll see me refer to this, this is the set screw. This turns just like that, forward and back. There is a tiny, there's a lever here on the side. And if you push this forward, it releases the crank where it can go backwards. When it is pushed forward, you hear that click. And that clicking is what keeps it from going backwards once you're trying to cock the crossbow. This fits right over the buttstock of this Excalibur. So let me get this set here and I'll show you how this works. Okay. And when you take your crossbow, if you notice in the buttstock, there is a hole there. Okay. And what we're going to do is set this 
right over the back of this crossbow and we're going to screw that set screw that I pointed out earlier all the way in. That locks that to the back and it cannot move. All right. And a while ago, I showed you how to undo the lever which releases the hand crank. And so what you want to do is pull this hand crank all the way out, give you plenty of room here. And what I like to do is take the, the crossbow and put my foot in there so I have complete control over it. And then we're going to take this string and put it over that groove. Then we're going to click. the release back forward and then we can begin to crank. And kind of to demonstrate what I've done here is I've took this string and once we got to this groove I dripped the groove the string over the groove put it in there and then ran it all the way up and put my hooks on either side at the top of the crossbow. Reason being if you do not follow this if you just take the hooks and go well, I'm gonna hook them to the string and cock it what will happen is these hooks will jump up on top of the rail and cause you all types of issues. So it's very important that when you put, when you go to lower your string, your hooks to put over your string, that you get them around this groove. That's what's going to keep them on track. Okay. So we we have our um, crank engaged, and we can hold it, and we can just slowly crank. You don't have to do it fast. It's not hard to do. It cannot go backwards. And as long as you're hearing a clicking noise, then you know everything's okay. And when you get to the end and you hear that pop, you know that is the bow has been cocked. And what you do is put just a little tension on the crank. Pull your little switch back, which releases the, the lock and you just go back ever so gently and you go and unhook your hooks from your string re-engage your hand crank okay and your bow has been cocked, we'll put your bow in the safe position. We can undo our set screw. And we can take our cranking device off. This bow can still be cocked even with the rope cocker, but that's just a nice added feature so that if you're shooting a bunch or you have some kind of disability or problem, it's easy to decock or easy to cock this bow without a whole lot of trouble. Okay. Now since the bow is cocked, we are going to take a look at what the bow looks like once it has been cocked. And so that will kind of let you see the, the way the bow looks once it has been cocked. All right. And so now we're going to demonstrate how to decock the bow. The bow does come with a rope cocker. And so the, when you decock the bow, we'll, the same first step is to take your foot and put in the foot stirrup. The next step is to take your rope cocker and put over that rope cocking groove that we that's in the back of the crossbow. And depending on if you're right or left-handed, wherever you're struck, whichever is your strong hand, you want to pull all the slack out into the T-handle. Okay. Once you've done that, then what you're going to do, or what we're going to do, is pull up and take some tension off that string. When we take the tension off the string, we're going to pull the trigger and slowly let the crossbow string down. Now when you do this you must push the, the guardian forward and then the trigger. If you do and that lets it go all the way to the bottom position. If you just pull the trigger it will let down to the guardian and you're stuck at the guardian. And you think, and I've had this call before, how do I get this bow uncocked? Well, the way you get it uncocked is you're going to have to recock it back up into the, the ready fire position and then go back, push the guardian, push the trigger, and let it down. So we're going to kind of demonstrate that right now. I'm going to put it in the fire position, take the safety off. I'm going to pull up 
on the string, pull the trigger, and let down. And if you notice, this bow is down to the guardian. If, if you put the guardian release switch will not push in, so you're stuck. So what you would have to do is come back up here to a cox and start and start back. So we'll put it back in the safety position. I'm going to reset my rope cocker the way I want it set for this. Okay, make sure we got it good and secure. Okay, so we're going to go back in the fire position. We're going to pull up on the string. And then we're going to let it down ever so gently all the way back to the fire position or, or to the safe position. And that's how you decock it. So to kind of demonstrate to cock it with the rope, we just want to pull up just like we've done in the past. It clicks, put our safety on. So we got, we got our boat cocked, we have the safety on. We'll take our um, supplied arrow here, put our cock feather down, slide it all the way down past the guardian all the way to the string one of the biggest things to always make sure is that that string that that arrow knock is seated against that string then at this point we can flip to the fire position and that and that is the Bowtech Katana Crossbow. The cool thing about this bow, it is, comes as a complete whole package, has a lot of adjustability. You get the bow, the quiver, the four arrows, the scope, the handcock, the rope crank, everything's included. These bows are running $10.99 that's shipped to your door. We run specials all the time on these bows, so please contact us if you have any questions about these. We are doing a promotion too that includes a free striker soft case with katanas uh, so, and, but we carry the solution and the offspring as well and the solution ls so if you have, if you have any questions about Botech, we'll be glad to help you our phone number is 336-564-2400 our email address is www.beanoutdoors.com and our email address is sales at beanoutdoors.com so you can email us you can visit our website or you can call us we'll be glad to help you and this is the Bowtech Striker Katana Crossbow.